Hey guys, so I wanted to address something that I don't think I've seen addressed before, but this comes up time and time again in the forums and Facebook groups of people coming in asking questions, and I just wanted to make a video that uh, addresses it. And so what ends up happening is somebody may have one battery and they were running off a 12 volt system and then they wanted to upgrade to 24 volts. So they got another battery and an inverter, uh, a new 24 volt inverter. And then they take the new battery and they just series connect it into their existing system. But the problem is, is that they never charged up the new battery and they never topped off the existing battery. So that's one scenario. The other scenario is you just you want a 24 volt system and you just buy two 12 volt batteries and series them together and you just tie them together and start going well you can't do that you have to top off each battery you have to charge each battery fully individually before you connect them in series otherwise one battery is going to be lower in state of charge and the other one may be higher in state of charge that's an imbalance that's never going to fix even if you continue using it it's it's always going to be imbalanced and you're going to have much lower capacity. I've got another one of these lead time 50 amp hour 12 volt batteries. So let's experiment with this. So this one I've been using quite a bit and I'm not sh quite sure what the state of charge is on it. It's probably pretty full, but this one's brand new in the box. <laughs> Open it upside down. So let's check the voltage on each one of these. 13.19 volts. 13.34. So a lot of people's first mistake would be, they would say that's pretty close. So they must be pretty close in the level of charge. So what I wanna do is, to show this difference in state of charge between these two batteries, I'm gonna charge up through my shunt here, and then we can count how many amp hours gets pushed into the battery. I'm gonna do that for each. And then we'll see just how different the state of charge is between these two batteries. All right, so I've got the shunt set up on the uh, original battery that I had been playing with and testing. And I've got it set to zero here. Uh, it shows that it would be discharged fully, but uh, it's, it's probably actually pretty full, but We'll see how much it pushes into it. Okay, now we're charging. So I'll come back when this is complete. All right, that was very quick. This battery was pretty much charged. Um, we put in 2% or just under one amp hour, uh, only 11.8 watt hours were we able to put into this thing. So this thing is full, it's topped off. So let's hook up the brand new battery and see how much power we push into it. All right, you guys, I swapped out the batteries. This is the one that was completely full. This is the brand new one. And uh, let's start the charge and see how much goes into it. There we go. I'm just going to let this guy run and we'll be back when it's completed. Alright guys, so it completed charging the new battery and look at the difference. We'll put in like almost 30 amp hours. 407 watt hours we put in 58 percent of charge into this battery that's a huge difference between this one the existing battery and the new one so if i had just series these together and started using them in a 24 volt system the capacity would have been severely diminished because this battery would have been way lower charged than this battery and uh, it would have never resolved itself I'd, I would have to come in and actually manually charge these batteries individually and top them off to 
to make things work properly. So I would like to say thanks to Lee Time for providing these battery samples for us to test with. They're running some specials, uh, I think the 16th of this month through the 20th. You can get some percentage off if you wanted to buy some batteries like this from them. Uh, go check their website out. I'll put some links down in the description. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this video, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.